My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my list of my favorite episodes from The Legend of Korra, and this video will have spoilers, so there's your warning. But this is a show I really enjoyed, and there was quite a few episodes that could have made this list. But I've made my picks, I'm very happy with this list, so let's get into it. So my 10th favorite episode from The Legend of Korra is the Ultimatum. We see the aftermath of the Old Queen being killed here as Ba Sing Si just erupts into chaos and gets destroyed and it just has so much weight as you see what the hero is trying to accomplish and just how awful it would be if he actually succeeded in his goals. And then you've got Korra looking for the hero in the spirit realm but she can't find him but instead finds Iro who gives her some good advice and I loved that moment. And then you've got the bad guys fighting off against Tenzin and his siblings and I thought this was some very exciting action especially when Kev was willing to sacrifice himself to protect everyone and then the fight between Tenzin and the hero is phenomenal and when Tenzin loses at the end it also has weight. So I just thought this episode had to, had weight well needed and it was also thrilling and tense and I absolutely loved it. My ninth favorite episode is The Battle of the Fu. And this is where we see Koa ready to fight again. She's back on her feet only to get knocked down immediately. She fights Kavira and she just beats the shit out of her. Um, she's not as ready as she thought she was and considering you've seen the characters face off against her and lose, the fact that Korra can't even beat her just really shows you how big of a threat she is and it had me on edge and then she finally gains the upper hand by going into the avatar state but even then she can't get past what's happened in the past and she almost gets beaten there as well. She just can't overcome her mistakes and I thought this episode solved the character of Koa incredibly well and it has rate and it had some great action so that's why it's my ninth favorite. My eighth favorite episode is called And the Winner Is and this is an episode in season one where Amon makes threats but the games must go on and we see Koa, Bolin, and Mako lose in a match where it's quite clear the refs are being paid off and I thought that was very intense. But then Amon gains the upper hand and he attacks everyone and you just get a sense of how big of a threat he is. He takes away the bending abilities of the other team and you're just like, this guy is relentless. He's willing to take away anyone's power. And then you've got some great action afterwards that is also very tense because if Cole or then mess up, they can use their ability. So I thought this was a great action-packed epi episode that really solidified Amon as a threat. My seventh favorite episode is called The Stakeout. And I've said it a few times, but I'll say it again. I love how Korra finds the heel in the spirit world. And he gives her the cliche villain exposition where he tells her what he's going to do and why. And... You know, you see it in movies all the time. The villain is telling the hero their evil plan, but here it actually was brilliant because he kept her distracted so they could kidnap her physical body. And I loved that. That, I found, gave this episode lots of stakes and it was compelling and just really smart. And you got yourself some great action. And I love the way this episode ends with... Asami and Korra kidnapped by 
the old screen. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode a lot. My sixth favorite episode is called Out of the Past. And this is when we see people figuring out, okay, where's Koa? We need to find her. And they discover that Tarlac took her and he just bloodbends everyone. And when he has so many powerful people like that, controlling them like a puppet, you just feel hopeless. How can they beat this guy? How can they escape? And then we get the backstory of how Aang took down the Kong, and that was great. And then this episode ends with Amon taking away Talek's abilities, proving just how bad ass and how evil this guy is. And Korra just barely gets away. So once again, you feel the stakes. It has weight. It's got some great action. That's what I love about this episode. You might notice a common trend here. Uh, my fifth favorite episode... I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but based on everything I've seen online, it is. And I'm going to say it's Darkness Falls. It's the second last episode of season two. And <laughs> once again, you really feel the stakes here and everything has weight. Unilock merging with Vatu to become the Dark Avatar. Just, he really poses as a serious threat. And then he destroys Rava, and because of that, Korra no longer has a connection to the past avatars. And like that right there, like that has serious ramifications. Centuries worth of ramifications. And it all really worked for me. I also love the look of this episode in the spirit world with Rava and Vatu, I thought they looked great. And then when uh, Unilock becomes the giant spiritual being at the end, that's great. I, I feel like this is a fantastic episode. My fourth favorite episode is Korra Alone. And at the end of season three, Korra almost dies at the hands of Zaheel. And when we are reintroduced to her this season, we've seen that she isolated herself and that she's not as good of a fighter as she was. And that weight carries over throughout this entire episode as she's spending time with Katara and trying to walk again and just trying with every ounce of her being to become the avatar she once was. And she just can't. She's haunted by her beating. She's haunted by the weight of everything that's happened to her. And you just feel bad for her. The character of Koa has never been as human as she is here. And it's the start of a great Rise from Ashes storyline that really worked for me and is the standout of maybe the entire series. So that's why it's my fourth favorite episode. My third favorite episode is called Day of the Colossus. And look, it's a giant robot wrecking havoc on a city. Like, you got yourself some incredible action. It's thrilling, it's tense. The heroes are outmatched and you feel it. They will literally knock a building on it and just nothing happens. Bolin will try to create lava on its feet and try to trip it. Nothing happens. And, you know, I feel like you had to go big for the series finale, and they really did, and you got so much payoff here. And it also ends on a surprisingly emotional note of Asami's dad sacrificing himself, and I was surprised at how touched I was. It, it, it had an appropriate amount of weight, so yeah, I totally dig this episode. My second favorite episode is called When Extremes Meet. And look, this is a show about moderation. Amon is seen as radical. So with his actions, 
comes a response that's equally as extreme on the other side. And you see how awful that is. And it blows the lines between good and bad. There's a level of gray here. There's nuance needed. And when Koa approaches Tarlac at the end and beats the shit out of him pretty much, only for him to then blood bend her, you're just like, fuck, she's outmatched. Like, you feel hopeless for her. And it really added some nice tension. And yeah, like this episode is so well written. And it makes everything this season is trying to do so much more complex. But my favorite episode of The Legend of Korra is The Venom of the Red Lotus. Once again, this is a very thrilling, intense episode. The action here is phenomenal. The Animation is on a whole other level, and I love the cinematography. It just feels grand and epic, and you really feel like Korra could die. Like, she's getting poisoned as she's fighting someone who's much more powerful against her. And if she dies here, then the Avatar is gone forever. Like, the stakes just so high, and it... It has emotion to it. You feel for Korra. You feel for her life. And you also got yourself some great action with Bolin and Mako fighting off against the other guys. And I love how everyone came together and saved Korra at the end. It was a nice payoff to the rest of the season. But it still had weight. It still has ramifications as Korra is damaged physically and spiritually and emotionally in a way that carries over until the end of the show. And the last season wouldn't work as well if this episode doesn't have the weight it needed. So that's why it's my favorite episode. But yeah, you'll notice I use the word thrilling, tense, has weight, stakes, um, action a lot because those are the things that this show did best. And yeah, I really enjoyed it, and that is my list. But what's your list? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.